These things are great, but I always thought that they were shaped a little bit weird. Uh, it's kind of awkward to deal with the L shape there. Uh, I guess they did that so that they, you, you'd have a good place to stick it to some traditional Legos. So I've got this one here and uh, the cord's kind of broken. Um, it broke right at the connection there. So I'm going to put this one on and then, uh, and then I'm going to hack it and see if we can't uh, get it to be a little bit better shape. All right. So one thing I want to point out here is that these metal connectors, these electrical connectors here, are, are not attached very securely uh, into the wire that they're pressed into. They're just little tabs, and they're they're just jammed into the wire down below. Uh, so you don't want to pull that out. You want to push those out. I noticed in that video I used a little screwdriver, and I pushed down on those to press them out, so that it doesn't remove them from the wire. Because once they come out of the wire, it's really difficult to get them back in the right place. Right, to summarize what's happened so far, uh, I took one of these infrared receivers and I chopped this back piece off and I chopped this bottom piece in half and I removed a bunch of material from that gray piece here to end up with this piece. So now we have the gray piece there looking like that. We've got the top piece off of there. We've got our button piece and that uh, transparent cover and the uh, connector for the, for the power to the motors that you're gonna control with this. So now all we gotta do is put it back together. Okay, so the receiver's all reassembled. Uh, it's quite a bit smaller than the original one. Basically, um, same height there, but it doesn't have any of that back piece on it at all. And now the connect connections for the motor are on the end instead of uh, wherever that is and uh, so yeah so connected